Hi and welcome back to our Facebook Futures video from the WP Face Pages plugin. On the first video I sh showed you how to get started and make everything ready so we can use all the Facebook features. And this included granted, ex then grant extended permissions to Facebook. We have done that. So now we are ready to use the Facebook Connect. This <coughs> are the settings you can use. So first, if you want to allow users to register with Facebook, check the box. If you want to force them that they need to register with Facebook, and then you can just check the box here. If you check that, then there will there won't be any features available. So for registering with WordPress directly then they really need to use Facebook otherwise they can't register on your blog and if you want to enable single click registration then you can check the box here which we are going to do and if you don't want to show captcha information on the registration page check the box I'm going to use captcha for that video and if you want to have more than the general information which are being used on WordPress then you can add some more boxes here just click and add another mapping and then maybe you want to have the birthday from your users then click here birthday and choose birthday from the drop down list if you have if you're ready with all your settings click on save all changes then now since we want we are allowed to register with Facebook we need to make sure that we have the, the right settings on our WordPress installation as you can see here membership anyone can register is disabled at the moment so right now they no one could use either Facebook or another option to register on that block so I'm going to check the block the box here that anyone can register on that block save changes and now my WordPress site is ready for everyone to register on it. If you want to use a widget then you can go to the Facebook widget pack and the very first one I have checked that already before the very first one is use Facebook connect widget just check it here and then scroll down save all changes and then go to appearance widgets and now as you can see we have the Facebook connect widget here so I'm going to place that within the main sidebar and give it the name connect with Facebook then I can insert a width for the widget. I'm going to write down 300 pixels and the recommended size would be greater than 240 pixels. That's completely depending on your on your team. You need to play a bit around with this number and check if it if it does fit into your theme. Show registration. I'm going to click that one and then save the widget. So now I'm going to um, need to log out so that we can see everything. And as you can see, I'm using the standard WordPress theme here. And now at the right side in my main sidebar, I can see the widget I just placed. 
connect with Facebook. So if someone wants to log in or register, they can do that here. But as you can see, it doesn't look very nice because the widget size of the 2011 theme isn't wide enough for that widget. So like I said before, it's depending on, on your theme if it looks good or not. Otherwise, <coughs> when they go wp-register.php, this is a normal WordPress login or register page. Uh, um, and right now we have register with Facebook button added to that page. So they have the option to either use WordPress to register themselves or register with Facebook, which I'm going to do now. Then a new page will open here and you can see login to pre-fill the form below with your profile information it's from Facebook. So I need to log in and now everything will be filled and also the birthday which I have added before then I just would need to enter the CAPTCHA information and click on register. I won't do that here because I'm already registered on that block with the same email address so but when you test it just you can try that maybe with another email address then you have registered as admin then we go back to our home page and I'm going to show you the option login with Facebook and right now I'm getting logged in and as soon as I'm connected with Facebook then I can see I'm logged in that's it for this video for adding a connect with Facebook button and register with Facebook if you have any questions just place them on our forum wpflexsupport.com thanks for watching and within the next video i'm going to show you how to use the other facebook features